Hey, quite the chap here for Golfers RX. You know, we asked our Facebook group what they wanted to accomplish this year in their golf game, and a resounding majority came back and said they want to shoot in the 80s on a regular basis. So in today's 60 second vid, let's do that. Doctor? 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 Doctor. I have a feeling that this is going to be a lot longer than 60 seconds, at least this first video. But maybe it turns into a series. A series within a series. How to shoot in the 80s series inside the 60 second series. Inception. If we're having problems shooting in the 80s, it's usually because we're dumping strokes somewhere throughout our round. And it really helps to know where we're dumping all those strokes and then focus on that area and clean it up. But in today's video, we're going to talk about the quickest way to drop strokes in our game, and that's by focusing on our short game and cleaning up our short game around the greens. We usually only hit one tee shot per hole, hopefully. But oftentimes, the average golfer takes more than a few strokes to get the ball in the hole from around the green on every hole. If you could chip the ball a little closer, you'd have a better chance at getting up and down. If you could get your leg putts a little closer, you'd have a better chance at making the next putt. If you could sink a few more three to five footers, you're going to have a much better chance at consistently shooting in the 80s. So we're going to start with our putting. <laughs> I am definitely going over the 60 second mark today. I apologize, but it's going to be worth it because we're all going to be sinking putts like nobody's business and shooting in the 80s. Hopefully. So let's sink more putts in the three to five foot range, ramp up our confidence close to the hole, and then we're going to slowly start moving back closer to the tee. Part of the problem when we get close to the hole is that I think we get anxious. We start thinking crazy thoughts. You know, is my stroke worthy? Uh, am I aimed properly? We oftentimes think about not sinking the putt. I'm not going to make this. I can't make this putt. Am I going to make this putt? I've missed so many of these. Let's stop that. So here are two drills you can practice and a bonus. You can also use them on the course. One, stop thinking about your putting stroke. Don't even look at your putting stroke. Don't look at the ball. Don't look at your putter. Concentrate on your thumb during your stroke. You'll be amazed at how smooth your stroke becomes. Two, don't line up to the hole. Pick a target two to six inches in front of your ball and hit that target. Try and roll your ball over that specific little target. So what we're doing here is trying to forget about all the things that get in our head and mess us up. We're not thinking about our stroke. We're not thinking about our aim. Where are you adding the most strokes to your game? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear. We'd love to help. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up. Share this video if you think it would be helpful to someone else. And thanks for watching. Until next time, keep it simple.